accursed loading screen. Why do you exist in this world? Hey, everyone. I should say, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 2 1, Dormant Ability. Here we go. This is like the first day that I've made a walkthrough part in a while that I felt wide awake. I finally had a good night of sleep. I haven't been really sleeping all that well lately. And evidently I've also been questioning what the heck that thing was in the last operation. Maybe that's why I haven't been sleeping lately. Oh, I just couldn't figure out that power of sorts thingy there. Hey, uh, what, what the? Uh, oh, you were saying uh, bacon something about coffee maybe? Uh, okay, I will take my job seriously, sorry, I'm just, just trying to think about that power and what the poop that was. And we've already got an operation. See what I mean about that? There is less dialogue than there is in earlier operations and there is in later operations like this one. This one is so annoying. You'll see why. There, this is multitasking to the extreme, and if you let any of these thrumbi things get through the blood vessels, you will automatically lose your excess rank, if I'm not mistaken, if, if you want to get the high ranks. It's not all that hard to beat this operation per se, but it's very, very hard to get a good rank on it, and that's why I don't like this operation in the least. In fact, it's probably one of the hardest ones to get a good rank on, in my Doctor. opinion. Okay, what you gotta do is use your ultrasound to find the dang things in these five blood vessels, which all, co which all come down to this one here, then stop them with the forceps, cut them out, then drain them out, and then gel over the hole that you cut in the blood vessel. Doctor. This is... Oh, guy. Yeah. I hate this one so much. Then forceps. Drain the area. No. Gimme, gimme, and that's what you're supposed to do. See, that's how you get rid of them, but look how many are already over there. <laughs> it's it's definitely a matter of really, really high multitasking here. And I don't like that in the least. Even though this game does have a lot of multitasking in general. Oh god, oh god, they're moving. Oh no, no, they're moving, they're moving. <laughs> Wait, 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 I, I need to grab that one and... Uh... Oh, that's right! That This automatically happens, okay. Because it goes too fast, you have to... You automatically use that little power thing there that we still have yet to learn about, obviously, or supposedly. You have unlimited time with this power, so make use of it. Just saying. Okay, I forgot all about that, but that, that definitely makes a lot more sense in terms of uh, multitasking at this point in time. And there we go. Things are going pretty good, I think. Uh, this por portion is probably a, a, the exact same speed as the other one was. But that still doesn't make it any less annoying, <laughs> let me just say that. I, 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 I don't think I ever got the excess rank on the Wii version of this because I just can't multitask to that level that you or just yeah I just don't have the tolerance to practice to be that good at multitasking at this one I guess I guess I would prefer doing other operation than, than this one because maybe I just have a personal bias against this one but yeah see it's not that hard to complete but let any of those things get through and oh you lose your rank and yeah so, I guess it's not that bad to play as it is to try and get a high score on. Oh, I don't care! I don't care! Go, next operation! <laughs> well, I should say more dialogue, and then the next operation. And what do you mean I might be? I am a good surge. I beat this game a bunch of times before, but I'm kind of breaking the third wall here, so I best not do that, otherwise the universe may implode, just as if I were to question the game logic. And, oh, that's so sweet of her to worry about my piggy. Wait, what are you saying? That, that That's, that's kind of rude there, Missy, I have to say. It's a little shot towards me. And, wait, they were recording me? What? Oh, no wonder I wasn't doing well. I, I never perform well in the, on the camera. I mean, I never record anything. Come on. 
Well, some th sometimes things accidentally get recorded, and then they then they accidentally get put online. That's just how things work around here. The, the, all everything that happens on my channel is by accident. This this, this this doesn't like, you know, it doesn't like it isn't because of me or anything like that. I'm ju just saying. Anyway, what the healing touch is that? What it's called? Oh, so is that what I have? I have to use this power to help people. I must. Why, uh, yeah, it, it does sometimes feel like that. Wait, I have extraordinary concentration? Why? Where? How, did, how is this possible? I didn't even know I was capable of this, even though I've played through this game like 40 times before. That number changes every time I say that phrase. <laughs> I'll just say that right now. And yeah, having a power like that would actually be a lot of problems because of the fact that, you know, a lot of people would, would rely on you to be their doctor because, you know, they would hear about your power and they would be like, hey, I want this guy to operate on me because he is guaranteed to save my life with his power, basically. <laughs> and uh, evidently I'm going on vacation now, perhaps even though this next one is going to be another operation, and I'm going to be striving for a Selfius instead, actually. So, maybe what I'll be doing is instead honing my powers, or just doing an operation in general, I'm not sure, and yeah, maybe I should be checking on my patients instead of thinking this about this power or about bacon, or about YouTube, or something like that, or about the fact that these videos somehow get on my channel. I, I, I never understood how that works, but okay. <laughs> I, how do I even, how did I even get this YouTube channel? It's, I never understood that, ever. Hmm. And what? Here's the story about the uh, director here. Yeah, that old guy that quit before quit because something happened during an operation. He made a mistake and he couldn't bear with it. That guy right there. And that's what he was referring to in the last chapter there. So maybe some patient died under his hands or something like that. Like maybe he got overconfident with his healing touch or something like that and just overdid it or something like that. But Perhaps we will learn more about that during the course of the story. I do seem to have a lot of focus. I mean, this uh, magical star just seemed to pop out of nowhere into my vision. For whatever reason, I don't understand why a star would appear of all things. But, uh, yeah, I, I actually was always absent-minded, come to think of it. <laughs> I'm also quite forgetful by nature, but I somehow get by, and somehow, or for some reason, he decides to imagine a star, even though stars appear before. It's like he got the idea to do it just now, for whatever reason. I never understood that, because the stars always appeared automatically up to this point in the game. Starting okay, the to do the healing touch, you just have to rip your... Oh, let... <laughs> I was just gonna make a comment about the gripping your nunchuck there, not that's kind of dirty in a way, but I guess um, maybe that all comes down to a mindset. So press the Z button, and a star will appear on your pointer. And now you have to press the B button to make a line and follow that star as best you can. You don't have to be all that accurate, just as long as you make some sort of star shape and do it accurately each time. It doesn't matter where you start. I always start at the bottom left corner. Get... Oh, shoot. I pressed the A button. <laughs> I guess you... Can you activate it with just the A button? Is oh, I guess we're not going to find out until a later operation. <laughs> I'm guessing you have to. I mean, you can activate it with the A button as well. But they said they the B button. If you get them all perfectly in a short amount of time, you'll get the excess rank. That's... It's not an operation per se, as it is a practice to get the hang of your Aselbius powers there. And here we go, Awakening. Next operation, here we go. I think this is going to be the last one of the park. I'm already running at about 10 minutes right now, so 
It's always nice to have a little clock on the camera, or I should say a little minute counter on the camera to calculate how long you've been recording. Definitely something very handy. So keep whatever device you have around so you can see whatever time you're recording at, at all times. So if you can look back, back and forth. Just a minor walkthrough or tip there. Otherwise, your parts will get extremely long, and you'll have to chop things up, and then, or you'll have to keep it long, and the people will be like, Oh, this is too long! Ah! Okay, just some people will be like that, but still. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we're going to a conference now. And yeah, I, I'm always in spacing out. What are you talking about, Angie? It's, it's kind of a part of me, and... What? Mario! What? Mario's got aneurysms? Oh man, we are going to have to get him some mushrooms to get him all nice and recovered. Or at least that's how it would work in RPGs. And oh boy, some ruptured aneurysms. I, aneurysm operations aren't all that bad, but like those blood vessels ones, it's another one of those multitask ones, but not quite to the same level as the blood vessel one, the one, the first operation that I did in this part. You'll see when I get in there. Let's begin. So, yeah, what I actually, actually what I should do is raise his vitals up to 99 before I get in there. Oh, it's capped at 80. How dare you give me a vital cap? How dare you? Oh, I should mention something. Whenever you make a cut into a patient, it drops their vitals by one. So keep that in mind. I always, I forget, forgetting to tell you that. Oh yeah, magnify the area. Now inject the sedative, cut it out, grab it out, drain the blood pool that forms. I mean, this is aneurysms we're talking about, blood. So, now connect them with the forceps, suture them in place, and that is how they're done. However, there are other ones like that. Let's just cease magnification. Okay, uh oh, there we go, and there's going to be a lot of them later on. So be warned and get the hang of taking these out then four steps. Uh, as you go. Well, hopefully you'll be able to. Come on, where's the, there we go. And I'm going to attempt to do... Oh, these are kind of big. They might burst any moment. If they burst, what'll happen is that the patient will take a lot of damage, especially on hard mode. So try not to let that happen. When you, whenever, you, whenever you have the blood vessels like this, you can just leave them like that and they won't reopen well even, with, even when they're stitched for whatever reason, or at least I don't remember them ever doing that. So that might come in handy if you want to multitask to prevent others from... Or if you want to prevent other ones from blowing out. Uh, just a gamester tip for you of sorts, and... Yeah, and the next one, this last one after this one, it's going to be pretty dang hectic. Get ready! Oh boy, we got four of them going on at the same time. Keep them all small like- Ah, oh, curses! Ah, oh, curses. I'm just going to cut this one off. Just get- No, no! You know what? That one can burst too for all I care. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you want to get the excess rank, you can't let any of them burst, but yeah. That did not work for me right now. <laughs> uh, as long as blood pools are out, you'll also lose vitals. I should mention that as well. So, if you want to raise vitals, you probably should suck out the blood like that. And, oh shoot, that, they came back pretty dang quickly there. <laughs> and see that other one isn't reopening now that I connected the vein together. Or whatever the heck that thing is. <laughs> It, it seems like it's some sort of vein. I'm pretty sure an aneurysm is a type of vein thingy thing. Like it's a blood clot in there that's a buildup of sorts. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know all that much about medical terminology and about the human body too much. But I've learned quite a bit through school as well as the games themselves. You know, because I, I get kind of curious about the stuff they talk about. Then I end up looking it up online. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. This is going to be a little wrap up here, I, I guess, and what? And that is... what? Oh boy, I collapsed. 
I don't understand why it collapsed, but we'll figure that out in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.